Laura Sable here from History Highlights, and I have a very inspirational story to share with you today. I was very excited uh, this past Wednesday, December 30th, to see that Google had replaced their home page title logo. The artwork there, they call it the Google Doodle. You'll notice sometimes they change it out for a holiday or to honor a, a day or a, or a special person. Well, on Wednesday, they honored Elizabeth Peretrovich. She was an Alaskan native and a, a pioneer in the civil rights movement in Alaska. In fact, she was instrumental in the passage of the very first anti-discrimination bill in the United States. That beautiful artwork that was found on Google's homepage, that Google Doodle, was actually created by an, an Alaska native, a Tlingit artist by the name of Michaela Goad from Sitka, Alaska. And it's absolutely beautiful, as you see. From our Alaska virtual cruise, which I know many of you have enjoyed already, and I hope others will join us on that, I did an entire presentation on amazing Alaskan women, and Elizabeth Peretrovich was a feature in that program. Her story is powerful, it's inspiring, and just what we need to get 2021 off to a positive and very hopeful start. Elizabeth Peretrovich was born in Petersburg, Alaska of the Tlingit Nation. When she and her husband Roy moved to Juneau, they found that they and their children were frequently discriminated against because they were native. They found it difficult to secure housing, to be even served in certain establishments. Now, Google picked the date of December 30th to honor Elizabeth because it was the date in 1941 after seeing a sign on a door of an inn in Juneau that said, no natives allowed, Peretrovich and her husband decided to write the Alaska's territorial governor right on that very day. And they gained his support and thus set the ball rolling towards the Anti-Discrimination Act that was passed in the territory four years later. Now, as simple as all that sounds, it was not an easy road to pass that act. There's so much more to the story. And to learn the rest of the story about Elizabeth Peretrovich and this moving tale of perseverance, continue watching this video as I share an excerpt from my Amazing Alaska Women presentation, which is available in its entirety on our virtual cruise of Alaska's Inside Passage. Uh, if you want to learn more about the virtual cruises, you can go to our website at historyhighlights.com where you'll see all kinds of adventures, all kinds of online experiences, video performances and programs, history programs, audiobooks, ebooks, and so much more. But listen to the rest of the story about Elizabeth Peretrovich, civil rights pioneer. Enjoy and have an inspiring day. The next Alaskan woman I'd like to spotlight, an amazing, amazing woman, Elizabeth Peretrovich, civil rights activist. She is truly known as the face of Alaskan civil rights and an amazing story. She was born of the Tlingit Nation and born in Petersburg in 1911, but she was orphaned at a young age and she was adopted by a Presbyterian minister and his wife and given a wonderful education. Then when she was 20 years old, she married Roy Peretrovich and he was also of the Clinket tribe, and he was the mayor of this very small town called Claywalk for four terms. Well, when they had children, they decided they kind of wanted to move to a little bit bigger city to give, well, city, we we're talking about Alaska, a bigger town, I should say, to give their children more opportunities. And so in 1941, they moved to Juneau, and they were shocked when they experienced extensive social and racial discrimination. They had difficulty finding housing, signs barring entry to, to natives at public buildings. I mean, they had come from a place where he was the mayor of the town. So they petitioned the territorial governor to ban these no natives allowed signs. The Anti-Discrimination Act was defeated by the territorial le legislature in, in 1943, but they kept on continuing to lobby the legislators. In 1945, the Anti-Discrimination Act came up for a vote once again. Territorial Senator Alan Shattuck of Juneau said this, who are these people barely out of savagery who want to associate with us whites with 5,000 years of recorded civilization behind us? 
Elizabeth's response to that? I would not have expected that I, who am barely out of savagery, would have to remind gentlemen with 5,000 years of recorded civilization behind them of our Bill of Rights. No law will eliminate crimes, but at least you as legislators can assert to the world that you recognize the evil of the present situation and speak your intent to help us overcome discrimination. Whew, powerful words. Apparently it was truly powerful. In fact, Juno representative Fran Almer said this. She talked about herself, her friends, her children, and the cruel treatment that consigned Alaskan natives to a second-class existence. She described to the Senate what it meant to be unable to buy a house in a decent neighborhood because natives aren't allowed to live there. She described how children feel when they are refused entrance into movie theaters or to see signs and shop windows that read, no dogs or natives allowed. Her impassioned testimony was considered decisive in the passage of the Anti-Discrimination Act. It was February 16th, 1945. The Alaska Senate voted 11 to five for House Resolution 14, providing full and equal accommodations, facilities, and privileges to all citizens in places of public accommodations within the jurisdiction of the territory of Alaska. It was nearly 20 years before the US Congress passed the Civil Rights Act of 1964. On February 16th, 1988, the Alaska legislature named that day Elizabeth Peretrovich Day for her courageous, unceasing efforts to eliminate discrimination and bring about equal rights in Alaska. And I also, I love this quote on this, on this picture here too. She reminds us all that a single person speaking from the heart can affect the future of all Alaskans. I, I think that should say all humans. <laughs> and of course, this year marks the anniversary, the 75th of the passage of the anti-discrimination bill. And so, this is so exciting, there is a design for a dollar coin that is planned this year in her honor to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the passage of that bill. Mm -hmm.